back again. Caught me a little bit off guard for this one because uh, I've actually been working. And uh, I kind of half forgot about this. So just bear with me. Right, okay. Let me just get my bearings. This is this is a beat from the first pack I did, so we're just gonna use that for a second now anyway. And uh, have a little look, see what we've got going on. I should know all these samples now, really, shouldn't I? Uh, This is just um, the no- long fizzing Nord string from the new pack that I did. And that's um, just pulled the low pass down a little bit, a little bit of resonance. Uh, sort of the release out, so it's got a nice long release. And it's naturally, I think I've like made it wonky. Like I was detuning it as I was recording it. So when you start playing it, it will start sort of blending all the wonkiness. find something shout out to everyone that's just joined the chat and uh it's not really a tutorial it's at all really it's just me fucking about isn't it so just showing you what you can do with some of the sample packs let's see what we can do with this string i'm just going to try and use this string to make loads of stuff so let's just start off with a drone first yeah i've literally just got back from Tesco's, put the food on, inhaled a bowl of rice and fish, and I might have to reach for the Rennie in a minute because uh, I've just jumped straight on this. So you're going to have to bear with me so my head is all over the place at the minute. I haven't had time to like decompress from visiting Tesco's fucking place. Okay, let's just give this a big reverb. Let's try and make some sort of weird drone out of this. So I'm just going to 
to freeze that verb. Jump straight in. And grab a bit of that freeze. Grab a bit of that ice. Unfreeze that, take the reverb off for a second. Now we've got a little little drone and actually it's a distorter. I've upgraded to Ableton 11 so it's not too different but let's whack the overdrive on that. Back to the long fizzing string. It's like a nice boards of Canada sort of. and erratic when I'm doing things just like I do like I do commit quite a lot of the time but I don't um, just chuck things in as fast as I'm doing I do like to have a little think I'm just literally just running on uh, whatever at the moment Postman Aero eh? okay let's go back to the uh Fizzy string. in this window today as well. I'm not really going to look into arrange anything. Just jam in with the samples again. So what I'm going to do is reverse it. Let's bring the gain down a little bit. So I need 
need to build a little bit more percussion, percussion, percussion. I'm going to try and make a little snare or something. Let's have a quick look what we've got going on. Duplicate that. 
So one of them's on a low pass. This is something I don't always do, but...
acoustic end. Really like that loop. What does it remind me of? Ah, oh, yes, it's Grey Odyssey, isn't it? Grey Odyssey Matrix. Is it Grey Odyssey? That boom reminds me of it. Yeah. Am I still streaming or has it crashed? It looks like it's like spinning wheel on my phone. Can anyone still hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can, anyone just type if you can hear me. Or if it's, just, if it's crashed out. I don't know if it's crashed. Fucking piece of shit thing. Jesus. I presume it's crashed because no one's saying anything. Um, Okay. I just thought it fucked out for a second. Okay, yeah, I really like that. But let's uh let's switch it again. So I'm gonna keep the little snare and the little hat. Uh, that's really cool. Okay, what sort of direction shall I go in? Any serious comments? Any suggestions? Do you want me to go dirty, musical? What can I have a little fucking play with? That beat's pretty sick. Let's have a look. Let's get the old long fizzing string back. Long old fizzing string this. Um, okay.
some major things sometimes. It really depends, I guess. If I'm making something dark, I might not even really stick to a key. I'll just fuck around and just see what works. And, um, yeah. So this, I'm just going to use this as like an under string, just a nice little background glue, but I'll make something nice with this. Okay, let's have a look. Let's make something stabbing. Some of that in. It's a long fizzing string, back doing shit.
Okay, let's go back to the long fizzy string again. No, actually, let's get some bass in. Simpler, because it's simple. This is the kid drama's toolkit. Bass, eh? Shit. Sunday. be quite a mellow one, wasn't it? It just isn't at all. Okay, let's tell you what, let's get rid of that one and get this one back again. Let's copy this.
perfect sound Nice Just keep it really simple I've got like um, 
map of all LFOs and envelopes and stuff that I'd use to start sweeping things, getting them moving a little bit. But, um, I don't know if all programs have them, like the max bits. So I'm just going to keep this as simple as possible and just try and do it all by hand and do it in such a pretty shitty fashion. But it's pointless me doing this if I'm just going to use a load of fancy plugins to do it all for you. I'm just trying to show you how to get the most out of my samples that I've made so you can buy them. Uh, yeah, I use Sampler. Sampler is quite good, but I just enjoy literally the simplicity of um, Simpler. It's just chuck things in. If I just want to play a sound, I'm not looking to go heavy editing on it. I've got contacts, which I sometimes use. Uh, Sampler is pretty cool because it's got good looping capabilities and stuff, but for the most part, if I want to play with a sound, I'll just chuck it straight in Simpler. No fucking about. Okay, this is turn it off for Darren. See what else we can do. had the dirty bass running earlier. We could do another dirty bass. Uh, sample kits. What have we got in drop two? Anything good? Quite like that. Just drag sounds in.
guys, anyone's just joined because I've not got any of my MIDI stuff around. I've been fucking around my studio today. And like I said, I was caught off guard. I remembered I had to do this. Um, so I'm just doing this all with a mouse. It's a pain in the fucking ass, to be honest. Um, This is a bit of grot. Um, I was going to make something a bit nicer, wasn't I? But let's go, go back to this base and see if I can do anything else.
stick a big fucking reverb on this, I reckon, and just make a make an effect out of it. Make a nice big effect. Why aren't you grabbing a reverb, you piece of shit? Here we go. Stick this behind the saturator. Again, let's roll off a bit of the bottoms. Stick a fucking massive decay on it. we had going the matrixy one Just sounds 
dark straight away.
sweep through it. There's always like nice bits. some max LFOs which I can sort of sync to various different parameters and um, just get it to start sort of slowly morphing and doing things but at the moment I'm just literally using this fucking mouse Get too 
oh, there's so many plugins that I would like and so many different things, but I think working with less, I like, I'm restricting myself again. It just makes you be more creative anyway. You don't need all of the tools. If you just, pardon me, if you just restrict yourself, like, and a lot of it for me is literally just getting a nice long take of something that I've made on one of my synths and uh, sticking it in the sampler and literally just using the fucking envelopes really and filters and just sculpting it to how I want it to sound. So this turn this into an ARP, just stick an arpeggiator onto that and like get it doing something. some rad shit. Etc, 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 etc. Stick a massive release onto it, filter it all the way down. And then you've got a nice little resonant. So that was uh, the same sound, wasn't it? That was just um, like a distortion string. Just a noisy distortion string and we turned it into a little... a nice little sort of like a hi-hat ride synthetic thing. And then a little little snare thing. Just by adding a pitch envelope and just... uh, It just instantly starts to roll. The nice little flutter. This is just a break that was in the first sample pack I did, so it's just got a little skippy hat. And uh, it's just bouncing off of all this. Because that, that snare's just got like an extended one of the notes, so it's like. And then it just blends together, doesn't it? But again, yeah, less is more. Uh, I try not to try and have too much shit on the go. I just like, um, in a track, I like to have maybe maximum of 20 tracks. A maximum of 20 tracks, like, um, running. But for the most part, if I like sounds, I bounce them down. And I try to keep it really about... 10, 12 tracks, and if I like something, I keep bouncing it down, but I don't like to have fucking like 80 different, 80 different channels open and shit, that's just too much for me. I mean, I like to just keep it mega simple and just squeeze the maximum amount out of um, the most little, because, uh, mate, fucking hell, I get confused just having like 12 tracks of shit going on, and look, you can see I hardly name anything. If I had 80 tracks, I can guarantee you I'm not fucking naming all of those 80 tracks, like on all those different takes. I would just get mega confused. I'd end up deleting half of them and uh, just getting pissed off of it and scrapping the track. So just keep it nice and simple and uh, just fucking do things as they go along. I like to make it as enjoyable as possible and fun. That's the be- That is the most 
that's the most I need from getting in the studio because it's therapy for me. So I don't want to be sitting there looking at fucking 80 different tracks getting, unless you're really geeky and that's, sort of, that's your thing. Do you know what I mean? You go well technical and it's like, I need to do all this, I need to do all this. For me, it's about just catching a vibe, getting lost in a loop, really enjoying myself, playing with sounds and just sculpting stuff and just, yeah, just having fun with it and just getting lost. It's like, it's all about just enjoying it for me. Uh, if it gets, starts to turn like too much hard work, then it takes the fun out and then suddenly I'll lose interest. So yeah, that is all really. I mean, that's all I'm going to do. What have we done? Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. I can uh, get back to doing what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, I've been mega, mega, mega constructive at the moment in the studio. So I will see you. I don't know if Darren's got one of his... Um, unique TV things going on tomorrow don't know if Darren wants to plug a little bit in there because uh, I miss that sceptical one I still have to watch it back but um, yeah I would keep it going but I've just you know what I'm in the middle of working and I just <laughs> got back from Tesco's 8 absolutely give myself heartburn because 8 so fast to get get onto this and uh, before I went to Tesco's I was actually on a really sick loop so um I have to really get back to that while I'm on it. This is, uh, it's broke it up for me, but I do it for you lot. And I also do it to promote my sample packs and make money. <sighs> but yeah, um, no, Darren uh, does a little interview thing at the moment. So um, D-Bridge does an interview thing, but it's very sporadic, sporadic. And um, he appears because for some reason it doesn't appear on my Twitch. It doesn't tell me he's online. I don't know if this is like strategic because he's trying to be like well undercover or some shit, but, um, but yeah. Um, Darren can plug his thing in here now if he wants. I'm not sure when the next one is. But uh, yeah, if Darren's not doing things, I guess I'll see everyone. Oh, well, I'll just see your names colourful names in Scotty's show on Saturday and then we're back in on Sunday for another session which is great I've got my birthday coming up soon as well which lands the day before on a, on a Saturday so um, I might just have to fucking do a marathon one get the beers in do a five hour session birthday session eat a massive fucking birthday cake online maybe even s smash my face into it at the end who knows Anything can happen these days. So, uh, yeah. Just, um, you need to give us a present for your birthday. I think all the shit I'm giving is a good enough present. It's a life present. Think of it as a life present, all these streams I'm giving you. From someone that really, really didn't want to be in the spotlight as such. Or be like one of these people where it's like my face is all over the fucking internet doing sh shit. Lucky enough, I'm not doing stupid shit, but... Um, I think I've given quite a lot, quite a lot of myself that I would normally wouldn't have given, but, um, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to, uh, turn this shit off now and crack on with my music. So thank you for all, um, for all of you logging in again and for all of you watching it back. Uh, I don't know if there's any linking in the bios or just links underneath wherever Sarah sticks it up on YouTube or whatever, but you can buy these sample packs on my band camp and yeah, go and support, buy a t-shirt, go buy a nice CMVX t-shirt and wear it with pride. Okay, I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>